So many people may not be familiar with this, especially those who are, are new to ADA or aren't familiar with staking, but ADA actually does go through a halving, similar to Bitcoin. Now, it doesn't happen the same way. You know, BTC, there's a hard date where, you know, the, basically the rewards for mining BTC, they just, they cut right in half. It happens over time for Cardano. Basically, every five days, there's a reduction in the rewards. And we've now seen this period where staking rewards for Cardano have dropped below 3%. And this has brought questions of sustainability to some people. And specifically, there was a, a discussion that was going on between CEO and founder of NMKR, Patrick Tobler, and Charles Hoskinson discussing this, this exact thing. Now, what people need to understand is that staking pool operators and delegators, they're an important part of the Cardano ecosystem. They are a necessity to help the blockchain function properly. They are a necessity as we continue to grow. And what Patrick Tobler is basically trying to say is that, you know, with these drop in rewards fees, that people are less incentivized to become either staking pool operators or delegators or, or participate in staking, right? And Charles Hoskinson did a very good job of, of explaining why this doesn't really make sense, all right? You do earn fees from the transactions themselves. You you can see this increase over time with adoption. And that's that's kind of what this back and forth was about. Basically, Patrick Tauber was, was saying that, oh, yeah, we need bigger adoption and bigger utilization of the Cardano blockchain. Yeah, we're, we're all aware of that. We all know that as this increases over time, people will be more incentivized to do these things specifically. And my monitor just went out. Oh, that was weird. Anyways, so... So that was kind of the the short and dirty. You guys can read through this conversation if you want. He said it's axiomatic. Of course, all cryptocurrencies need more transactions. That's the purpose of a blockchain. What uh, Tobler also was talking about is, you know, we need more partner chains and, and there's not enough fees to cover staking pool rewards and, and things like that. Okay. So what he apparently does not understand is something I've talked about time and time again. Right now, these times, when we look at blockchain, when we look at Cardano, we look at the market in general, they're not big, big times of adoption when it comes to DeFi. You don't see really users outside the space entering DeFi right now. That typically does not happen until later in the market cycle. Is this something that needs to increase in order for Cardano to be sustainable? Absolutely. All right. The Cardano does need to get adoption and grow to remain a viable, sustainable blockchain. Everybody knows that. OK, there are a lot of up and comers in this space right now. There's a lot of competition. But again, the infrastructure that's that's built by Cardano is something that's built for longevity. It's built for the long term vision. And until we get into those times where the people that are coming for the long term, the actual utilization of blockchain, like, for example, governments and, and enterprise and things like that, like we've talked about until they actually enter the space, which should be later as uh either later this year or early next year, we're not going to have an indication of, you know, how well Cardano is going to do. Now, that that's not, you know, FUD or fear or anything like that. I, I think that Cardano is going to do quite well. I think it's going to garner big adoption. These things that have been built, they, they're they built for the future, all right? That's why we're not seeing it take off right now. So many people want adoption in non-adoption times. And, and it's just, it's crazy to me, okay? Cardano doesn't pay for marketing it doesn't, it doesn't pay for partnerships or things like that. They, they let it come naturally. And guess what? We're starting to see some of the early signs of that actually working out. They didn't seek out some of these partnerships that they have. They've come to Cardano organically. And the thing is, is as others see this organic growth within Cardano, you'll see these other things take off. You'll see the transactions rise. You'll see these, you know, rewards for being stakers and SPOs continue to increase. So basically it was a, Useless conversation that went around about back to, we need to wait four times of adoption. Be happy that we've taken the big steps forward that we have during this bear market cycle while other chains have stayed stagnant, have not really done much to prepare for these big adoption times. So I appreciate you guys. I'd love to hear your thoughts on this. Let me know what you guys think, but have a great day. Show your love below. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Take care.